When the Department of Justice sided with uh, CTS Corporation, a private polluter in North Carolina, and went to the Supreme Court to obtain their um, a favorable ruling that basically allows them to dismiss the claims at Camp Lejeune, what that means to dependents such as myself, um, we would have had to turn in the claim for any damages or any cancers um, or health conditions uh, by 1995, because the Navy claims that that is 10 years after the last action of the polluter, which is what the, the statute, I mean, the uh, statute of repose does. In my case, I would have had to turn in a claim for a cancer I did not know I had mm. for an exposure that I did not know existed 12 years before it all happened. Yeah, that's unfortunately a common story when we're talking about these kind of environmental lawsuits. It, it, it is it is a built-in kind of systemic issue with the law, where because uh, of these statutes of limitation and the nature of causation being so attenuated and the nature of diseases not maturing for any given period of time, that so many people get caught up in these kind of systemic barriers to getting relief.